Krillin. You son of a bitch. You are one ugly motherfucker. Go! Go! Run! Get to the Dragon Balls! here and welcome to another opening night uh this was sort of an odd one it's sort of an opening night retro and i just watched it for shits and giggles uh believe it or not a couple months ago actually i watched it on disney plus at josh's place and it's a movie you wouldn't expect to be on disney plus that of course being um predator just the original predator from the 80s um so <laughs> this is kind of a funny way to kind of go about this opening night so um, full disclosure, I never grew up with the Alien Predator movies uh, as a kid or a teen or whatever. I'm only now kind of discovering the genius of this franchise, of you have, you know, Ridley Scott's Alien franchise, and then the Predator, and sometimes the sequels are hit or miss, but we'll get to that. So, um, I think I should start off by saying I have seen, um, a couple of the movies. I have seen, uh, I think I've seen mostly bits and pieces of Alien vs. Predator, I have seen all the parodies of Predator where they all go, Get to the chopper! And all that jazz. Um, I have seen the first Alien, which I did do a review of a couple of years ago. I think it was around 2019, so it was, it was before the COVID nation attacked. <laughs> but uh, to the point, um, Predator is one I'm now starting to get into, and I think this is how I'm going to go about discussing the Alien Predator movies over time when I eventually watch them all the way through is that i'm basically going to go basically the first movie and the and sequel after sequel each so it's going to be sort of a pattern until we get to alien versus predator maybe i don't know i think aliens after this is going to be the next movie to watch so um predator um i really kind of went in knowing nothing about this movie i've seen a bit of retrospectives and reviews here and there uh, i have seen oliver harper's videos i have seen a couple other people talk about it and I'll say this, my first introduction to Predator was not necessarily the movie itself and the creature, it was the soundtrack. And the reason for that is that the soundtrack um, by the great Alan Silvestri, this was I think right after, before or after he did Back to the Future, um, and he also has done the Avengers theme. So there you go, you got the guy doing uh, the theme to Predator. Where's my Predator versus Avengers movie? I mean, Disney owns both of them, but to the point. Um, I remember the music being used in an early trailer slash sneak preview for Mighty Morphin Power Rangers the movie, and I remember hearing the Predator theme on the Page Master VHS for that preview. And for some reason, I'll say this, the music to Predator actually matches really well with the Power Rangers movie. And I will say, if there is a work print out there with the Predator score... Can we get that released somehow? Hashtag release the Power Rangers Predator cut. I actually want to see that work print with that Predator score. I just think it would sound so much better. And in fact, fuck it. Where's our fan film? I mean, if we can get Batman Dead End, we can get Power Rangers vs. Predator. Why not? So that was my first introduction to, uh, to the Predator of anything. It was the music. And kudos to Alan Silvestri. That score, I'll talk about that first as a positive. The score is amazing to this movie. Like, this is one of the best scores he's ever composed. In fact, I love it so much that, again, even before seeing this movie, I had used the Predator score, in some cases, in a early work prints when I was editing Kong together. I was editing it, editing it to the music to Predator. And it's the one track, I can't remember, I think it's called, like, Blake Gets Killed or something, where it's just that, that beat, again, they use it in the Power Rangers video, where it's like, ba-da-da-bum-boo-boo-boo. It's, like, very Star Trek. But I remember that theme so much. It's good for a chase scene. And love the shit out of it. So, what is the story of Predator? So, if you go about it before it was all connected to Alien vs. Predator... Um, basically, uh, a group of Marines, uh, one of them led by Arnold Schwarzenegger, 
and another buddy of his, so I can't remember his name, but I'll get to him in a sec, along with um, uh, Carl, Carl, Carl Wenders, uh, who was Apollo Creed in uh, Rocky. Uh, they're Vietnam guys who go on a mission out into these jungles to kind of, on a rescue mission, but then it turns out there is some weird creature that is hunting humans uh, for sport. Um, I will get to that in a moment with the sequel. And so Arnold and his friends must survive, and it's essentially a slasher movie set in a tropical jun jungle with an alien creature that hunts humans for sport. That's the whole movie. And in that case, um, it's a good action movie. It's not only a good action movie, it's a great horror film, it's a great science fiction movie. I can see why people like this, and... Quite frankly, it's funny because I'm very torn with the Alien vs. Predator. Which side am I on? Am I on Team Xenomorph or am I Team Predator? I love the Xenomorph, don't get me wrong. I like the Xenomorph, but the Predator's just cooler. He's more intelligent, he's more smart. Like, if you had a battalion of these guys, they could get the job done, especially if they were, like, bounty hunters. These guys are cool. I do like the Predator, and I do know about the original design being absolute horseshit, and I think, was it Jean-Claude Van Damme or somebody was in the suit? Um, utter horseshit, so thank goodness for Stan Winston and his team for redesigning this thing. Like, this is some of Stan Winston's best work here, too, um, outside of Jurassic Park and Terminator 2. Like, anything with Arnold, they will do. So, uh, props to their team. So, The Predator is just... Really, that's it. It's just an action movie. It's just an action horror movie. And it's funny, because looking at the movie, I can't... Which, I think, was it Commando came first, right? So... You look at both Commando and Predator back-to-back, -back, and in some cases, you can't tell which movie's what. That's what's kind of odd about, about Predator, is that I always got it confused with Commando. And I think it's because they just used sort of the same uh, artwork and the same premise of Arnold in a tropical area. So it is very hard that if you have never seen these two movies, and you look at the images back-to-back -back of Arnold, you can never tell which is which. And I guess it's just they both came out very close together in a way. So, now what's to say about the cast? Um, Carl Winters is amazing. Like, he's a really cool dude. Really like what he does. Um, I love Arnold, obviously. Like, Arnold's the, the showstopper of this. He's got some of his best lines. You know, Dylan, you son of a bitch. And, you know, the, my, one of my favorites is when, obviously, he goes, you know, Go! Run! Get to the chopper! Like, that's awesome. And then he's like, you know, looks at the Predator's face and he's like, You are one ugly motherfucker. Um, there's some great lines in this, some iconic horror movie lines in this movie. It's awesome. Um, but the guy who's sort of like a Sergeant Slaughter looking dude, who's like Arnold's buddy, um, who's the guy who's like, goddamn sexual Tyrannosaurus, which I love that. That's a, that would be a great t-shirt. Um, I guarantee it probably exists, but with, uh, with him, he's really cool. He's, he's the one with the minigun and he's just like tearing shit apart that that thing is awesome i do like the minigun like that is a cool weapon in movies um if i could ever see like i don't know android 18 or crew of rosario vampire pick up a fucking minigun that'd be awesome so a lot of the, the action scenes in this movie they're amazing the survival instincts of arnold when he's trying to hunt this thing down on his own and building the trap it's it's amazing like it's really freaking cool and i'll admit like watching it on disney plus first of all odd place to put this movie but, you know, in the quality, the quality is fantastic, especially in, like, the HD Masters. Like, it looks great. So, kudos that over, like, what, 40 years later, um, this movie still has some great, like, qualities to it. It's, it's awesome. Um, so, yeah, the, the movie's pretty damn solid. Um, I really like it. It's a good action movie, good sci-fi movie. Would highly recommend it. I know I'm 30 and I've never seen The Predator and I've only watched it now, but it's a good movie. I really did enjoy this. Um, before I give my high rating, I should talk about the sequels. Um, I have never seen Predator 2, but again, I want to watch Aliens, uh, Aliens before I see Predator 2. I want to try to watch these in a pattern, um, even though I don't know if they're, like, canonically connected or any of that shit like that. So, um, I'm just gonna watch them as they were essentially released. So, I think, uh, yeah, uh, Aliens is next on the list. But, with Predator 2, I do know it, it was the first to connect the Alien vs. Predator franchise. I do know, uh, Dan uh, Danny Glover's in it. I really like Danny Glover. Uh, what is it, uh, Predator, the Predators, which is the, um, I believe the one with, uh, uh, Adrian Brody. Um, I haven't seen that one. 
Although, I do remember it getting pretty solid reviews, and I have seen, like, fan films for a sequel to Peter Jackson's Kong, where they use Adrian Brody with that gun uh, in the jungles, making it look like he's back on Skull Island, which makes no goddamn sense because of that giant gun he has. That would not exist in the 40s or whatever, unless you make it where there's aliens and it's a sci-fi gun, which would be stupid. Um, and then you have The Predator, which I have seen the majority of because of how, how badly it was butchered in theaters and how much it was butchered by people who like Mahler and stuff. And there is a plot twist in that sequel that when I first saw it, I was so pissed off. And, but then you kind of, over time, uh, I kind of appreciated the twist in some regard. I won't say what, but it was kind of interesting. Sort of, I went from hating it to kind of liking it. So, can't say why, can't say what it is, but um, I do kind of like the message they were kind of getting across uh, in that film. It's not a good movie, it's a piece of shit movie, but there is some good qualities to it, I will admit, but it's not for the reasons you think. Um, and then with the upcoming movie Prey, which I've seen trailers of, it's not that bad looking. I mean, the Predator movies are very hit or miss. Um, the last three were good, but this last one they made was absolute horseshit. So I don't really have much to say about, like, the next one, this franchise. It's not really something I'm totally into, but I'm kind of digging. I'm kind of digging the idea of, like, killer aliens from outer space that Marines have to shoot these things. Like, it's a battle between aliens and predators and humans and Marines. It's pretty cool. Never played any of the games, by the way. So... Uh, with that said, yeah, I overall do like this first Predator movie. I'm gonna have to see how the sequel holds up, but first I have to get to Aliens. This is a good action, good sci-fi, good R-rated movie. Um, lots of great moments, quotable dialogue, a great creature to follow through, and Arnold's just kicking ass. Like, this is, this is a really good one, and I can see why it's one of his best. Like, people really do like this one. I mean, I'm very much a, a Terminator guy. Uh, I really like uh, Jingle All the Way. I do like it when he does comedy once in a while, but this is a good action movie for Arnold, and I do like Conan the Barbarian. So I'm going to give Predator about an 8 out of 10. Like, it's it's passable. It's a fun action sci-fi movie. It's a good quality one, and I would highly recommend it. So buy it on Blu-ray, watch it on Disney+. Plus. Again, awkward place to watch it, um, that it's run by the mouse now. Again, I will say one thing. Where's my Alien vs. Predator ride at Disney's Animal Kingdom? <laughs> that would actually be kind of cool. I mean, I kind of had the premise for it where it's like you're in the jungles because, you know, the Animal Kingdom aesthetic, and there's an alien spaceship, right? This is one of the spaceships. This is a big, giant spaceship, and you're going into the queue, and it's all steamy and shit, kind of like Alien. And um, you look at the monitors, and it's Sigourney Weaver and Arnold Schwarzenegger telling you where to go that you have to set up, you have to put your helmet on, you have to put the guns on, and it's one of those, like, shoot maze kind of attractions rides, like the Men in Black shooter uh, uh, ride at Universal Studios, but what you do is you basically shoot aliens and predator animatronics. I think that would be a cool ride. If Disney could pull that off, they've had Alien before in the great movie ride, but that would be interesting. So, yeah, uh, go check out Predator. It's a decent movie. If you're a fan of action movies, if you're a fan of 80s action movies, sci-fi, and Alan Silvestri especially, um, this is one of his best scores, and this is a really good movie. So check it out when you can. So next time on opening night, hopefully, um, I know a lot of you have been asking me to take a look at the latest Jurassic Park movie. And I'll just give a couple of reasons why I have not been able to get through it yet. First of all, I have been busy as hell with the Batman project, and it's coming out really well. You guys are really going to enjoy this shit. But also, just from the reviews, I'm, I'm dreading it. I will find time to see it. I'm probably going to wait till it dies down a little bit and probably see it as like a matinee or whatever. But hopefully that will be the next one coming. And then, if you guys obviously want to request me to review a movie you can so by supporting us on patreon just a dollar more will get you access to all of our content as well as other special features and uh if you donate five dollars you can request me to review a movie if you're choosing just make sure it's something in our wheelhouse so um yeah next time hopefully will be jurassic world dominion i keep wanting to go see more movies and i just don't have the time for them 
but I am going to make time for this one because you guys have been very vocal about this. Like, I'm surprised, like, how many people just want me to see this movie. And I get it, and you wanted me to see it on opening night. Again, I just didn't have time, and then the critics also kind of pushed me away from it, but I am going to get to it at some point. So, until the next video, like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys later. This is Big Jack Film signing off, and I guess to quote you guys who will constantly howl me to see Dominion, Go! Run! No, Big Jack Films! Get to Jurassic World Dominion! <laughs>